to Shakespeare after three hundred years by Thomas Hardy read for LibriVox.org by Cory Samuel Bright baffling soul least capturable of themes thou who displayedst a life of commonplace leaving no intimate word or personal trace of high design outside the artistry of thy penned dreams still shalt remain at heart unread eternally through human orbits thy discourse to-day despite thy formal pilgrimage throbs on in harmonies that cow oblivion and like the wind with all uncared effect maintain a sway not for desired in tracks unchosen and unchecked and yet at thy last breath with mindless note the borough clocks but samely tongued the hour the avon just as always glassed the tower thy age was published on thy passing bell but in due wrote with other dwellers death accorded a like knell and at the strokes some townsman met maybe and there unqueried by some squire's good dame driving in shopward may have given thy name with yes a worthy man and well to do though as for me i knew him but by just a neighbour's nod tis true if faith few knew him much here save by word he having elsewhere led his busier life though to be sure he left with us his wife ah one of the tradesmen's sons i now recall witty i've heard we did not know him well good day death comes to all so like a strange bright bird we sometimes find to mingle with the barn door brood a while then vanish from their homely domicile into man's poesy we wot not whence flew thy strange mind lodged there a radiant guest and sped for ever thence End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.